How do changes in our bodies affect both our physical and mental well-being over the course of a lifetime? This is a question that reveals a key truth. Our physical development and aging are not isolated events, but rather a continuous process shaped by genetics, environment, lifestyle, and hormones. These factors intertwine to influence not only how our body changes physically, but also how those changes affect our brain and behavior. From the moment of conception to childhood, to adulthood and into our later years, the interplay between our genetic makeup and our environment shapes both how we age and how well we age. Let's walk through this process step by step. Before birth, the stage of physical development is already being set, but it's influenced by a combination of genetic factors and environmental conditions. This is where gene environment interactions come into play. For example, a child may have a genetic predisposition to a certain condition, like a tendency toward obesity, but whether that gene is activated depends on the environment, like diet or physical activity. This interaction is a prime example of how environmental factors like maternal stress, poor nutrition, air pollution, or exposure to harmful substances like teratogens, alcohol or tobacco, can affect the baby's development. Even a mother's illness or her overall health can have long-term effects on the baby's physical development and mental health, shaping how the child will respond to challenges throughout life. As babies grow, reflexes like the rooting reflex demonstrate the early stages of physical and psychological development. However, these physical milestones do not occur in a vacuum. They are deeply tied to hormonal changes and how these changes interact with the environment. For example, early exposure to stress in infants whether through a stressful pregnancy or traumatic early experiences, has been linked to physical health challenges later in life, including problems with brain development. Infants exposed to stress have been shown to have altered HPA axis functioning, which influences the release of cortisol, a stress hormone that can affect immune function, memory, and emotional regulation. In childhood, the body continues to grow, and motor skills and coordination develop at varying rates. Some children may walk earlier than others or develop hand-eye coordination sooner. While there is a general sequence to these milestones, environmental influences, like how much opportunity a child has to explore and move, can speed up or delay these processes. For instance, physical activity in early childhood can promote healthier brain development. Just as a lack of physical movement can stunt it, the development of fine and gross motor skills in childhood also plays a role in how children feel about themselves influencing both their mental health and self-esteem. Research has shown that children who are physically active tend to have better mental health outcomes, like reduced anxiety and depression, partly because physical exercise supports neurogenesis, the creation of new brain cells, and overall brain health. As children transition into adolescence, the growth spurt becomes a defining feature, along with the onset of puberty. This is a time when hormonal changes like testosterone in boys and estrogen in girls contribute to the development of primary and secondary sex characteristics. These changes don't only affect the body, but also have a significant impact on mental health as the brain continues to mature. Adolescence is a time of heightened emotional and physical changes, and stress can be particularly impactful. High levels of chronic stress, whether from social pressures, academic challenges, or family issues, can disrupt hormone regulation and impact both physical development and cognitive function. Studies show that adolescents with chronic stress have higher levels of cortisol, which can interfere with brain development, particularly in areas that control emotion and decision-making. When we move into adulthood, the body's development slows but doesn't stop. Hormonal shifts continue, but they start to signal the gradual decline of certain functions. For example, testosterone in men and estrogen in women decline over time, leading to changes like menopause in women and reduced muscle mass and strength in both genders. In the case of sarcopenia, the loss of muscle mass, the process starts in middle age and accelerates later in life. This is where exercise, especially resistance training, plays a crucial role in maintaining muscle mass and strength. Studies have shown that physical activity not only helps offset the effects of sarcopenia, but also promotes neurogenesis, keeping the brain sharp and agile as we age. Another crucial factor is mitochondrial function. As we age, our mitochondria 
responsible for producing the energy our cells need began to function less efficiently. This leads to lower energy levels, muscle weakness, and cognitive decline. However, research has shown that regular physical activity can help maintain mitochondrial function, helping to mitigate these effects of aging. Exercise increases mitochondrial biogenesis, the creation of new mitochondria, and improves their efficiency, contributing to both physical development and healthy aging. Nutrition also plays a key role in aging. What we eat can influence epigenetics, the process by which lifestyle factors influence gene expression. Healthy eating habits, such as a balance of macronutrients, more protein for your brain and muscles, enough fat for hormones and vitamin absorption, and complex carbohydrates for energy and fiber and water. Consuming foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and vitamins like vitamin D and B12 can activate genes that protect against aging and inflammation. On the other hand, poor dietary choices can activate genes that promote oxidative stress and accelerate the aging process. Studies have shown that calorie restriction, a type of nutritional intervention, may slow down metabolism and increase lifespan, suggesting that what we eat can literally affect the way we age. As we age, it's important to manage stress to maintain both physical and mental health. Chronic stress leads to higher levels of cortisol, which accelerates aging by increasing inflammation, muscle loss, and cognitive decline. Finding ways to cope with stress through exercise, social support, or relaxation techniques can reduce the negative effects of stress on both body and mind, slowing down the aging process. Finally, the concept of epigenetics shows us how our lifestyle can change how our genes are expressed. Through regular exercise, healthy eating, and stress management, we can activate genes that help protect against diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, and cardiovascular disease, and slow down the overall aging process. The more we understand about how our genes interact with our environment, the better we can shape our physical development and aging. Throughout life, from the moment of birth to our later years, physical development and aging are part of a single continuous process. Everything we experience, whether it's hormonal changes, genetic predispositions, environmental influences, or lifestyle choices, affects how we grow, how we age, and how we feel. From the early stages of motor development in childhood to the changes that come with sarcopenia and cognitive decline in old age, everything we do throughout life can help shape the course of our aging. With the right choices through exercise, nutrition, stress management, and social engagement, we can not only extend our lifespan, but also ensure a healthier, more vibrant life in our later years. Aging is inevitable, but we can influence how we experience it.